I'm going to show you how to create an exploded 3D axonometric view in Revit in under two minutes. So I'm just going to open up any 3D view by clicking the default 3D view button up the top here. Now I'm just gonna use the view cube in the top right hand corner to click on any of the corners. This is just gonna give us an isometric view of our building. Now this is the same building that we used in the Revit course, which you can check out with the links below or up above. What we're going to do is pull these roofs away from the building so that we can see that level below that. So to do so, I'm just going to select both of these roofs. I'm going to hold control to bring up the plus symbol while selecting. Now what we're going to do is use the displace elements tool. This is a really cool feature, which I didn't actually pick up until later in my architectural studies. Had I known this before, I would have done this a lot more often because of how simple it really is. As you can see, if you go up to the modify tab and you click on this little button here, which says displace elements, what this is going to do is bring up this gumball control kind of thing. And what this allows us to do is pull these elements or displace them away from the building. And essentially what it's doing is grouping them up without actually using groups because if you just group things up and try to pull them apart in Revit, you're going to run into a lot of problems. This is using its own kind of displacement set. As you can see, these are now linked together. If we highlight these, they are now linked together and you can move them with this displace element tool. Now this is only affecting this view. So if you go to a ground floor plan, these aren't going to be linked together. This is only for this view. So already that's really cool because we can see everything that's going on underneath that. You can see the uh, level two floor here. Uh, what you're actually looking at is the ceiling. If I hid that, you'd be able to see everything else below. Otherwise what we could do is now create this as a displaced element and then bring this up and then pull that away from the building as well. So as you can see, you can just start pulling and breaking your building apart to displace all of the elements and create an exploded 3D view. What's really cool is now that you can select this displacement set and you can either reset it, which will bring it back to where it was. I'm going to undo that and select it again. Or what you can do is add or remove elements from this set. So if I were to say, add this to the set, I can also do that rather than having to create a new set each and every time. But I actually don't want that, so I'm just going to undo that. I'm going to select that one more time and click on this path button. This is going to create projection lines to define the path between the displacement set and its original location. So as you can see, if I hover over any of these corners, it's going to create a displacement line. So I'm just gonna click on that corner, click on that corner, click on that corner, and then maybe this one as well. If I click escape now, that's showing the lines of where this element has been pulled away from. And you've now got yourself an exploded 3D axonometric drawing, which is really, really cool. I hope this helps. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials, and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.